Hello and welcome to my channel. Today I'll be showing you how to make Grime in the style of Mum Dance, inspired by his tracks The Sprawl and One Sec Take Time and Shook with Novelist. The project file, samples and presets are available for a small contribution in the description and please consider liking the video, subscribing if you're new and turning on the bell notifications. Check out my Grimy 808 serum pack if you want to cop some presets that suit this style and you can also follow my socials, link are in the description. Our BPM is 138 and we're only using a couple of different notes E and F. We'll start with the basses group. First we have this square distorted bass. We have a square wave taken down by two octaves and a filter, which is being used to add drive and remove high ends. LFO1 is modulating the pitch of the patch, which we can see here in the matrix. We have distortion in the effects too. On the channel, we have an EQ3 boosting sub frequencies. Then we have the AOA. This has saturation applied for character. This is the FM kick. I've used an EQ splitting technique, which I've covered in depth before, and a card will appear on the screen linking to a more detailed explanation. For the sub, we have a sine wave taken down by two octaves with a kick shaped amp envelope. Like the first bass, we have LFO1 modulating the pitch or master tuning as it's called here. On the chain, there's a compressor for consistency and a band splitting EQ. For the top, we have a sine wave taken down by two octaves in the sub oscillator. We have a square wave taken down by two octaves with the unison at three and the FM from B knob turned up for oscillator A. Oscillator B is a sine wave taken up by an octave with the level turned down. So we just get the effect of the FM. The envelope and LFO settings are the same as for the sub layer. The filter is removing highs and there's distortion in the effects. On the chain, we have an EQ and on the channel, we have a mono utility since Serum makes sounds very wide and this felt a bit too wide in this case. On the group, we have EQs, removing rumble and adding sub, parallel compression and chorus to add width. Reverb is applied via Send A, which is this dark basement preset. Next, we have the drums. We have the clap.
Mom Dance uses a lot of classic drum samples. So in this project, we've used 808 and 909 samples. This is an 808 clap. For example, saturation and distortion are central to Mum Dancer's aesthetic, which you may have clocked already, but it's particularly noticeable when it comes to the percussion, hence the heavy saturation here. We have the laser. This was stretched using the texture algorithm before being brought into the project. And we have this slap delay, which is essential to the sound. And Mum Dance uses slappy delays and lasery sounds in the sprawl. The channel has also been panned. This is with and without the delay. Then we have some panned hats in a drum rack and a choke group. Again, there's heavy saturation on the channel plus a bit of EQ. On the group, we have drum bus with compression, EQ, and reverb is again applied via Send A. Finally, we have the effects group. Also forgot to mention, we have this groove applied to the drums MIDI to humanize the patterns. So back to the effects. Many of these have been stretched using the texture algorithm before being brought into the project, like the laser, including the audio on the granular stretch channel. I noticed that Mum Dance uses granular stretching, sometimes with DJ scratching and vinyl record manipulation type samples. A card will appear on the screen now where I cover this technique in more detail. Stretching and reversing these types of sounds seem to work well, and I've also used Foley samples. I also have individual reverbs on some of the channels since Mum Dance does this with both effects and drum hits in his tracks. Using lots of effects, both samples and inserts, is an important characteristic of this style of grime since the sparse arrangement needs filling out and there's not usually much melody or harmony. So this is the loop without the effects. I'm with. I've also applied various EQs to these channels, to the effects channels that is, notably removing a resonance in the short DJ scratch samples. On the group we have drum bus, EQ and chorus plus reverb applied via Sende. And that's the video. Thanks for watching and supporting, and I'll see you soon.